I couldn't wait any longer. To me, in my mind, it is like fall time. I've been collecting stuff since like July, so I am more than ready to start sharing with you guys some fall content. I have a bunch of stuff from Home Goods, Target, even Big Lots. Yes. And I'm just, I'm so excited for all of the fall content. I know I want to film like a decorate with me and maybe some shop with me. And I definitely want to get up a fall favorites this year because I've already started my list of all my fall favorites. So I feel so cozy right now. I have my candles going. I'm about to pour a glass of wine. So if you guys want to pour a nice little beverage with me, please do. Like I really like to go through Pottery Barn or CB2 ads and then pull a lot of inspiration from them. And then when I go out shopping, I just feel like I can find a lot of things that are similar. Yeah, I feel like I have such good stuff. So let's open these wine glasses so I can pour a glass of wine. I got a pack of two of these wine glasses. Last year I got the little skeleton wine glasses that are Pottery Barn dupes. But I thought these were actually, I don't know, I kind of like these ones a little bit more. So I'm gonna open this and pour myself a nice little glass of Malbec. Hold on. I cannot wait to have a little pizza night or a little fall spooky movie night with my boyfriend and pull these out. I'll quickly go through some of the soaps I've already picked up. Um, this packaging, how good is this? I wish they would do more fall scents in this like matte texture packaging. I feel like the best ones to get if you want like cozy homey vibes is leaves or harvest gathering. But I also got um, sweet cinnamon pumpkin, perfect pumpkin. I've been using this one, which is cherry almond and shortbread. Wicked vanilla woods. And this one's new, I think. Sugared maple lane. This one is maple drizzle, warm citrus, sunshine, and brown sugar. So these smell really yummy. And then my two go-to candles as we transition into fall has been apple and charcoal, which is just like a nice red apple with cinnamon. And then salted butterscotch has been my favorite candle. I think I've already gone through three of these. This is just like really creamy and kind of smells like vanilla. It has warm brown sugar, sweet cream, pinch of sea salt, melted butter. So I really recommend this. And it smells better when you burn it. The throw is incredible. I saw this online, it's $9. So if you want something to store your um, soaps or body sprays in, it's not as big, you can't really tell online, but it's like a square. So it wouldn't really fit the candles, but it does fit soaps and things like that. Oh, I guess I'll show you guys with my points. I got some wallflowers. I don't know if I would like spend my own money on this, but since they were free, I was like, these are kind of fun. The ghost looks really cool when you um, plug them in because he kind of glows like this blue cast. And then I got two little pumpkins. This one's like a white silver and a orange. I don't know. These were just kind of fun and they were free. So, so with home goods, I went in thinking I wanted lots of like pops of spooky items, pops of black, but I also like the matte finishes or like natural looking textures. I'm just gonna show you all the pumpkins, even though they're not all from Home Goods, just so I can kind of like put them behind me. Um, so yeah, that one is from Target. And see what I mean about just like that nice natural matte finish? It just makes me happy. Um, this one's more of like a wood finish. So this one was $14.99 from Home Goods. That one was $20 from Target. Um, this one was only $10, also from Home Goods, and I just that matte finish looks so so beautiful. I, I love it. So, we'll put that one next to this guy, and then two more little natural finish pumpkins. Um, this one almost looks like an acorn, but this was $10 from Home Goods, and then this one was $3 from the dollar section at Target. So the pumpkins just make me really happy. I'm gonna keep all of those for sure. Um, I think I'm gonna do more cozy fall vibes in my bedroom and living room. And then I wanna do some of the spookier items in like my entryway and kitchen. We will see, follow along, cause I will definitely upload like how I'm gonna decorate. All the spookier items, this is one of my favorite things that I picked up this little soap dispenser. It was $9.99 at Home Goods. Looking on Pinterest, I kept seeing people um, decorate with crows and skulls. So when I saw this, I was like, you're coming home with me. Ugh, I feel like this is 
very Pottery Barn sleek. And then I got this little cauldron and I was thinking this could look really cool on a shelf. Um, I wonder if there's something I could put in this to make like steam come out or something. I could also just put a little puck light in here so it kind of glows. I like how this is also matte. I'm really, really picky with textures. And then I got this little natural finish container that I think would look really nice with candy corn, dove chocolate, just little treats. And I can use it all year round, which is nice. Um, and it just, it looks so nice next to the pumpkin. So I wanted to pick that up. I have this bowl in my kitchen that I left a banana in when I went out of town and it kind of messed up the bowl. So I needed some sort of filler. This has like apple and orange slices. And I like how it looks really natural. I wonder if it smells good. Oh yeah, it smells really good. So if you see this at Home Goods, it even has like little leaves in there. If you live somewhere hot, it's kind of nice to bring little parts of fall into your home. Next, I got this guy. He's from the Martha Stewart collection. And I thought this might be cool styled in my entryway. Anytime that you can add a little bit of different lighting or textures I feel like they make a big difference in your space so I picked this guy up. This thing is this little wine holder and I don't like the finish of it so I, I just wish it was like a matte black or just a black so I was thinking maybe I can spray paint it but I'm unsure because of the texture of this so I don't know let me know what you guys think I just I don't want a lot of silvers I want more warmth so we will see what I end up doing with him and then I got these little LED ghosts. Last year I got the ones that didn't have these rims around the eyes. I feel like it just needed to have that little matte rim around the eyes. So I really like these. If you live somewhere hot and you don't really get to see the fall foliage, it's kind of nice to bring little pieces of the outdoors in. You can literally go outside and pick up branches for free. I actually did that one year. These just look really spooky. They're a neutral color, so it goes with everything else that I have. I was looking for something black, but I was like, you know what? I need to have this too. This is kind of a little bit more unique. And I could use this in my room since I don't think I want to do too much spooky stuff in my room. I cannot go a year without picking out cute little fall mugs. And this year I went shopping with my best friends. Highly recommend just going shopping, going to Home Goods and Marshalls with one of your best friends and picking out matching mugs. They put this in their cart and I just copied them. I was like, that is so cute. So yeah, one for me and one for my boyfriend. And then I saw they also have these in a spider web, but I picked up the ones that say boo. This guy I'm a little unsure about. Let me know what you guys think. I like that these ghosts are LED and they light up and I just like these ones a little bit more and I don't want too much ghost stuff. I just I feel like a little ghost overwhelmed this year. So I don't know. He's really cute though. I think I will keep him. Oh, that is kind of cute. So moving into these like little book boxes I got. This one doesn't open. So this is from the brand Lux Habitat. These were, these were $12.99. And they're just these little books. So it just looks like antique and very lived in. And I don't know, I thought I could either stack something on top or just put it on my bookshelf. But I just like that it's neutral and will tie in with the rest of the decorations that I already have. And then I got all of these little spooky boxes. They're actually little storage containers, so you can put like matches, a lighter, your remote, whatever you want to store in there. Um, I originally got this bottom one and the top one, and I wasn't sure if I liked it stacked with black on black, or if I liked it with like the neutral and black. Let me know what you guys think, because I don't think I need all of them oh this one like a like, drawer so yeah i don't know i'm sure i could make use of all of them but i don't know if i need all of them next i got this boucle little mummy he has this weight on the bottom so he kind of like sits up by himself by the time my son turns five or whatever i can be like you were literally the size of him when i bought this so he's been my son's little buddy i think i'm gonna put him in his crib for decoration i don't know hey! oh my god what are you doing Hi, what are you doing? Okay. <laughs> Alright, we're turning him off. This little bowl I thought was really cute, but I wasn't sure if I'm going to keep him either. Let me know what you guys think. I'm like loving all the mummy stuff. The only thing I don't like is the bat on there, but 
I don't know. I like this neutral. We will see if I can style it. I went that. to Target, but Target didn't have all their fall stuff out, so I ordered a bunch of stuff online. Not all of it came yet. I really wanted this little haunted house that I ordered to come in because it just looks like a really good like statement piece. And usually I don't like these little Halloween houses, but the way it was styled, like I said, I just think it looks like a big statement and I have this vision with my entryway because we have these two little sections. I'll show you guys in the decorate with me, but I don't know if you can tell but it's just this little house that um, lights up. Here we go. And I like that it's all matte. There's not a lot going on. I think when there's too much with these little houses, they can look tacky, but I think this could be styled really well. So more of like the Harvest Girl vibes. I thought these were really cute from Hearth and Hand. I have a lot of like deeper cool tones in our living room and kitchen right now. I love greens, but they match the colors that I'm going for. Even if I don't use them for Halloween, I do really like these, so. I thought that was nice to have. I think it was like $10. These are $11.99 and then these were $6.99 each. I feel like the dollar section at Target can be such a hit or miss, but I found, like I showed you guys already, this little woven pumpkin was $3. And it just like, I don't know, it's nice to kind of help with having different sizes. I feel like scale is very important when decorating or designing anything, so. Yeah, I really like that. And I picked up these glass pumpkins. I feel like this is as warm as I want to get, like a nice chocolatey brown. So they have little fairy lights in there. They don't light too much, but just enough. This will look really pretty at night. So yeah. Oh, and how much were they? And these are $3 each, which is not bad. And then these were all $3 each. These are just little flameless candles wanted to pick up a lot of flameless candles and led lights this year to really help make the atmosphere feel cozy but be safe for my son he's almost one so he's like getting into everything so if you guys see this at target it's five dollars this is one of the things that was on my list that i was looking for and it's just like the spooky little branches or like a little tree and i will definitely put this in a vase this one i don't think will work but something like this could be really cool um, this vase is from Target from Threshold and it was $20. The nice thing about this is since it's in this little pot already, you don't have to try to like arrange it. It's already arranged for you. So yeah, I really like that. And then I picked up this little toy for my son to play with. I thought these were really cute and I know that he would have fun with these. And so why not have a little, you know, fall vibe going? These were $3, I think. Yeah, $3 each. I got in bubbles too. Another little like decorative filler or a pop of black that I could use. This was $3 and it says Deadly Nightshade. It just looks kind of spooky and witchy, which I love. I picked up these stems. I don't want anything like too warm or orangey, but I thought this is like a nice like coffee color. We will see. I don't want to get them out right now because I feel like they could be messy, but these are $15. And I think it could look really nice in one of the bases that I already have. And I got this little arrangement that has little branches and these like dead roses. I feel like $10 for a little flower arrangement is not bad. Okay, I didn't really get any Halloween decor, but I have to mention I got these little Ugg dupes. These little slippers from Walmart were only $18 and I love the color of them. They have a little bit of a platform. If you don't like the platform look, this is a good way to kind of like dip your toes into it. I love like a statement platform on my shoes, but this one's nice and then they're neutral and so cute. For $18, like I'm throwing this in because I forgot I had this on my bed. This is my favorite little pumpkin I got and it's Sherpa, like a taupe, a light taupe color. So yeah, I love this and it was uh, $12.99 and I do want to mention a few like non-decoration items so I mentioned these slippers honestly you should go to Walmart just to pick up these slippers and while you're there you could also get um, the Sabrina Carpenter perfume I don't know it just it's just an easy everyday perfume that's really cozy if you like Marshmallow Fireside, it kind of reminds me of Marshmallow Fireside from Bath & Body Works. So if you do happen to go pick these up, I just thought, I know I'm probably going to put this in my fall favorites. And I just want to mention that real quick. And then books. While I was at Walmart, I picked up Layla. 
I read Verity last year and usually I'm not into Colleen Hoover. I finally read um, It Ends With Us and I actually really liked that. I read some of her other books and was not a fan, but yeah, I think she did a good job with her other like spooky books. So I got this and I like, I like that it's decorative, but I got some fall books to read and um, I saw them on TikTok and I guess they were like changing the cover. So I felt like I had to buy these. So I had to order this from a bookstore from London. So it comes like this. Oh my gosh. These like book covers have so much character. I, this is like not usually my vibe, but I don't know why. I'm just like, the covers are speaking to me. I don't know. So I got both of these books to read for my little fall reads. It's um, the Magnolia Park series. Let me know if you guys have read these because I'm so excited. I guess it's kind of like Gossip Girl vibes, which you can kind of see more of on the back. I think I want to rewatch Gossip Girl as well. And I guess the writing style is really good. Oh, yes. Okay. I thought that because they were running out of these covers, she changed the covers. And I was like, I need to have the OG, like, crazy covers. Um, I thought they were sending me the large print, but these look normal, so. Oh, I can't wait to start this. And if you're trying to save money, you could get these from your library. Another thing that I wanted to share is I literally printed off like, like a little vampire photo. I just found a photo on Google and printed it at Walgreens. And I loved having this up last year. So I picked up two of these little table lamps. They were only $10. I've been looking for a little lamp and they've been like $40 at Target. So when I saw these for $10, I was like, I'm gonna get two. So I have one I'm gonna put on my nightstand and then one that will go in the kitchen. And that's it from Walmart. Abby, Emily, and I have a little group chat where we keep sending all the fall stuff that we've been looking at. And Emily sent a photo of this cute little ghost mug. So, um, I was really shocked it was from Big Lots. So I went there and they have their own little dollar section, kind of like Target. So I picked up two of these. They sell mugs that look just like this at Anthropology for like three times the price. So this is a really good buy. And then they had, these are little like school handle holders, which I feel like little pieces like this will help like kind of tie things in where they just need something to kind of help scale the space. So I got both of these little tea light candle holders. They're both $2 and they're not plastic. They do look like, I don't know, they feel heavy and they're really good quality. And then I got this little tombstone. It says RIP and this will look really cool with the little house I got. I don't know. You guys will have to see the space, like I said, but I have these little nooks that I think I could style and make look really spooky. So that is everything. I'm so excited to start decorating. You guys want to see how i end up putting everything together definitely follow along but um yeah i will see you guys in the next video